Whoa. <laughs> One watching already. Yes, yes, yes. Vegan Pro Science is live. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done a live. I think the last time was live with Saeed. Live with Saeed. Wow. I yes. Set myself up here. A little bit unorganized. There we go. There we go. There we go, son. There we go. Did you guys like my dancing? Huh? Did you guys like my dancing? Let me know down below. Yep, yep. He's live. Yep, yep. You need to stop, start uploading, man. You're slacking. You're slacking. Right. Up here where I am, you can drink water straight from the tap. Oh, like the good old days, eh? Like the good old days, son. All right, so tomorrow, Bikili. Mm -mm -mm. I think out of the three races that are coming up, right, we've got uh, Berlin Marathon tomorrow. And then I think we've got the Chicago up next, right? And then we've got Elu Kipchoge's Breaking 2. Out of all three, man. I don't know about you guys, but me. I'm more excited about tomorrow. There's there's just something about Bikili that I don't know what he does to me. The guy is he's something else. Yeah, I mean Elu Kipchoge is gonna go under two hours, but that's like it's like yeah, I know it's special. It's gonna be special. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not gonna miss it for the world, right? Under two hours is not gonna be easy, but it's kind of like a setup. Right, the, he's gonna do it. We know he's gonna do it. But Bikili, you guys, you guys just know this guy is a destroyer. And if he gets it right tomorrow, man, we we are in for a good race. Let me know if you guys know where to watch it live, cause uh, I'm not in Berlin. I can imagine if I was though, you know, I would have loved to watch Bikili train. And I know. If he had seen me peeping in between the trees, he, his face would have <laughs> turned purple. Because he's a very, very, very private uh, athlete. He likes to train on his own most of the time. Unlike uh, the Kenyans, more, more, more sociable. I remember um, the last time he was at the London Marathon and uh, they had all kind of like finished training and Bikili was standing one side away from the others. The Kenyan athletes were stretching this side, the other Ethiopian athletes were stretching that side. And Bikili and his coach were standing one side. And uh, I had finished interviewing the other runners or farming them, and I kind of like gestured for about 20 meters away, like out of respect. I said, hey, can I come? And they were like, no, 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 you, no, no, no. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what have I done? What have I done, son? I was like, so I put on my saddest face, you know what I mean? The coach was laughing, but Bikili was like, mm, 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 don't like you. So I put on my saddest face. I mean, and, and then uh, the coach jested. They spoke to each other like, mm, 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 and then like, I'll come over, come over. And my heart went thump, thump. Thump! I walked over. I mean, it was a good chat. It was a good chat. I think he thought I was from the people that are giving him hell in Ethiopia, you know, about his standings of the Aroma tribe supporting or not. I don't know. There was some kerfuffle going on at the time. So maybe he thought that's who I was and I was spying on him or something to that effect, you know. Because he said to me, who do you work for? Yeah. I said, oh. <laughs> In my boyish little voice, I work there. I should have said to him, I work for you, Mr. Bikili. I'm working for you, son. Yeah? I'm working for you. Everybody wants to see you run, but you don't show us enough of your running. And Bikili, if you're watching this, give me a job, brother. I need a new job. You know what I mean? Get me out. Yeah, it'd be nice mm, for change. And he asked me, what's my age? <laughs> I said, how old are you? 
he asked me, <laughs> and I told him my age, he went, ah, you're old now, huh? I was like, what? I thought in my, my, my mind, I was like, I'll race you right now. What? Bring it. Mind you, he's looking a bit old, isn't he? The hairline's going. You know, he's not the young guy, but from his pictures on Instagram that he's posted since he's arrived in Berlin, the guy is looking lean. Ah, he's looking lean, you guys. And you know what? He's the smallest shortest and yet wow what a runner right so let's see the lineup we got let's start with the ladies first the ladies Gladys Chirono Kenya 2 hours 18 Mari Dibaba Ethiopia 219.52 these are their personal best Atamesh Tesfe, Ethiopia, 2-20-13. Helen Tola. I wonder if she's related to the other Tola. Or oh, the other Tola is Tola, somebody. 2 hours 21. Asheti Bekeri, Ethiopia, 2-21-14. Sally Kibiego, 2-23. Meseret Dofa. Meseret's still on the scene, huh? Wow, still around. Ramha Tusa. 223. Zhuan Zin Lin Jing, 226. Sarah Wall, USA, 226. Okay, okay, okay. That's, uh, that's who we're dealing with there. Eh? That's who we're dealing with there, eh? huh? Meseret Tafa, Meseret Tafa. That name kind of like rings a bell. Hey, did you, did you guys see the time that, uh, who was the winner of the Great North Run? Set the fastest half marathon time. The ladies. 104, son, five minutes behind the guys. Boys, we had to watch out because the ladies are coming thick and fast. She, from the gun, she was going. She was like, ah, yeah, I'm winning this. Bank accounts low, maybe. I'm in for the win. She was gone. They thought, ah, the ladies let her go. Big mistake. She was gone. And I done that course. The headwind, it hits you in that last mile. She was going 104, but it's unofficial because, because maybe of the terrain, too many downhills and stuff. And then, of course, we had Mo Farah's race. Mm, 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 good race. Tola nearly had him, though. Nearly had, just nearly had. He had broken away from Mo, right? Eh? That was a good race. Mo ran a PB. You know what? I can respect Mo when he runs PBs. I respect him more when he runs PBs than when he just sits back wins races that that just makes the whole thing suspicious to me i i don't trust i don't trust because it's like i don't know i feel like the sponsors and the race organizers and and the management crew and the agents are saying let, let the big shot athlete win you know what i mean and then behind the scenes there's stuff going on and stuff going on and, and I just don't trust, man. I've seen sport being dirtied throughout the years. I don't trust. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. If you don't like what I'm saying, say something to me. Shoot me down, son. Yeah, and we see it in cycling, you know what I mean? We've seen it in Formula One. Remember Formula One? Two race drivers and then on the radio the management will be like, yeah, 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 yeah. let Schumacher come past. And then they had to ban that. They had to ban that. Remember, they had to ban that. So if that's happening in athletics, in Formula One, why not ours? Sorry, I didn't see your messages. Just peep. They go away very quick. Anyway, so yeah, when Mo when Mo gives a PV, man, I can respect that because you can't lie to the clock. Unofficial world record, yet the BBC is still obsessed over Samo. Yeah, that's the, this is, you see, Daniel Janecki, this is what I'm usually saying. Misham Algaru is the best, was the best of the best. That guy, that low pin technique, which is what I'm going to talk about. The low pin technique, son. That low pin technique is new on the scene. And all you runners that run upright, like you got a totem pole up your rear backside. 
too much hamstring action going on. You're, you're pulling instead of pushing. You need to push, son. You get me? Right. Who else we got here? Yeah. He beat Bikini, yeah? Isham, yeah, yeah. Low pick technique saves energy, truth and reality. Drop bombs. All right, guys. All right, let's look at the lineup for the men's, huh? Let's look at the lineup for the men's. Let's start from Scott overall. Scott has got a 2 hour 10, 55 marathon. Do you guys remember my 30 minutes of Scott overall video? If not, YouTube. 30 minutes with Scott overall, vegan bro science, watch it, it's a lovely interview that Scott gave me while he was running at speed of light a couple of days before the London Marathon doing mile repeats. Willie Ngayel, Kenya, 2 hours 10, uh, Shogo, Shogo, this is Japanese, Kenny Zane. Hope I pronounced that right. Two hours ten nineteen. The Japanese are coming, huh? The Japanese are coming, son. Kennedy Naibei. Kenya, two hours nine. Kenta Murayami, two o two oh nine. Johannes Gebra Gergish. Eritrea, two oh eight. Eritrea is in the house tomorrow, son. Mm -mm. Jonathan Koriri, Kenya, two hours six fifty one. He. Felix Khan, yay, yo, 2 hours 6.03. Bahano Ligasi, 2.04. Now under 2.05, he's like slicing through butter. Remember the days when Paul Tarbert broke the 2.05? Hmm? And then Ailey came. And then Ailey came again. And then Ailey came again, son. Hmm? And Patrick. Remember Patrick McCow done something to Haley, gave him a sore stomach and Haley had to pull over onto the side. Fake the face, sore stomach, and then start again. So the comment about that race. Remember that race? Patrick McCow went on to set a world record in that race, breaking Haley's time again. Huh? I remember seeing Patrick McCow at the 11 mile mark on the London Marathon. He had dropped out. Nobody recognized the guy here that this was the world record holder. 11 miles at world record pace that time at the London Marathon and his skin was dry, not a drop of sweat. Huh? At world record pace, son. You come here telling me I can't drink a glass of water from the tap. No, his skin was like dry, like he had brushed himself with powder over it. And he had that thousand yard stare of a sniper staring down into the ground. Those guys don't drop out of zone, do they? The mindset is just in there, son. If I find the photo, I'll, I'll bring it up and make a video about it. But remind me to make the, the low peak technique style. Where did I get up to? Jonathan Korea, Felix, Candy, Bano, Legacy, Legacy. Now, 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 now we're talking about the contenders now. 204.15, son. Sise Lima, 204.08. Liul Gebri Selassie, 204.02. And then, the leopard, the destroyer. The 37-year-old, man, calling me old. I think I could beat him in a sprint, though. Yeah, I know. Let's make it happen. I could, ah, uh, uh, China. If I take my first one, two steps and he's not coming, I ain't running anymore. What's the point? I won the race. That's all I need. If I see he's not coming, ah, uh, well, stay there then. You don't want to run with me, that's your own problem. But I can leave him. Come. You, Bikili, I'll leave you. Uh, in front of everybody again, you get left. Calling me old. Right, so he's got a o official, unofficial, I don't believe this time, world best, personal best, 20303, son. And he says he wants to break his PB. I still believe that at the Berlin Marathon that he won, he, he ran it in 2.02.59. And I've got emails from the Berlin Marathon organizers to, to confirm that, that there was a faulty clock. And I got one of my other subscribers to email the Berlin organizers, Carlos, if you watch, 
say something, son. You emailed the Berlin organizers and they told you the same thing. They told me they were going to change his time. You go on the IAAF, IAAF.org website to see if they've updated his time. Nothing doing. So 209, 259, no, 202.59 would have put him two seconds off the world record. That's why when he crossed the finish line, he done that. Terras. Or what are you saying, Ethiopia? Okay, so he's out to break that world record. So we've got the lineup, right? Let's come to your comments, son. Let's come to your comments. Six people online. So uh, let's start with Elude Kipchoge's two hour marathon challenge. I think I've uh, replied to most of your comments. We got Adaki. You said, yeah, because I, I I've been up in arms about the paces they've chosen for Elude Kipchoge stuff. So we're going to get to the bottom of this. I think, right? This is just my thoughts which makes me an expert in this, that the people that should pace Elud are his, the guys he trains, trains with. It's simple, it's, it's not rocket science. You train with the guys that are able to run the pace that you run at, they should run with you. But we live in a commercial world, don't we? So they went and chose runners, middle distance runners, yeah, obviously it's just for uh, exposure and they're probably part of the Inuas team. So athletics is not as simple as I make it out to be. So Adaki, you said, I don't mind if Elud is becoming too corporate. As he stated in many interviews, he wants everyone to run. I genuinely believe that's his main mission now. He wants people to come together by running and to become empowered by running. As for him only using his Kenyan training partners, I don't see why Ineos would want that from a marketing perspective. No. No. Elude from a global perspective. Several nations coming together to help achieve this goal. You got some good points here. I'm, I'm getting knocked. I'm getting knocked, but I'm still going to get up and keep going. Many of those places have their own fan bases. Gideon Kipkete, I'm his biggest fan. Did you see him in the recent half marathon world record set by Jeffrey Camoro? Jeffrey, Jeffrey tore up the road, uh, you guys. I think they were left repairing the road, that brother there. After watching Abraham Kiptum's half marathon world record, I never thought somebody would come along and take off what was that 18 seconds 17 seconds off his world record Whew. what mind you kit tombs race they he did start off slow in the pack i don't know if he had mentally set out to set a world record it's funny how kit Toom had his sports director or sports management chubby dude at the back of a motorcycle like on the tour de france and then you had Jeffrey Camor's manager on the bicycle. And he's a tall guy. He's the guy with curly hair you see pacing Elud as well with the watch. He's always looking at the watch in the two-hour challenge. He's a tall guy, but he had his seat low. <laughs> so he's not getting efficient pedal strokes. He's, he's using too much uh, muscles near his knees. And he's going to be hurting. And the guy was having to work hard, I could see that. And it just must be mind-blowing how somebody on foot is uh, destroying somebody on the bike. I used to be able to do that with my clients back in uh, 2008. I always whine on about this. I was at the peak of my veganism. I was raw and I was, I was below race lean and I was training specifically for the 400 meters and done some half marathons and 10Ks and um, put my client on my bicycle and we're going around the athletic track and she got tired before I did, man. Anyway, she must have been really unfit. 
Right, so what are you saying? Um, they got their own fan bases. A dark, you will now be more inclined to tune in if they weren't already. Regardless, some of his training partners and close friends will be pacing him in the event. Yeah, I've noticed that there seems to be a lot. Not just the, the, the ones that were advertised on the NN running channel. Um, there seems to be a lot of other runners that will be pacing. Um, who just aren't listed on the site. The list of paces on the Ineos site is small. I imagine there will be many more runners involved. I'd be surprised if the final full list of paces weren't majority Kenyan. I'd be very happy. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Is What I think what I'm trying to express is uh, what I... by me being against Kenya, um, Elliot Grain corporate, I would have liked to see um, him say to the corporate world, middle finger. But it's it's hard when you've signed up to your sponsors and his, his world is never going to be the same. He's going to wish for that peace and serenity that he used to have because, uh, man, the paparazzi don't go away. And his town is going to change. It's going to boom. It's going to boom. It's going to boom. And, and with booming towns comes corporate investment. Your McDonald's, your KFC's, your Burger King. And, and then we're just going to have unhealthy people hooked on junk food and stuff and stuff and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm against. I'm, I don't know. I'm against the corporate world. And yet I use corporate world stuff. Hypocrite. Aren't I? Um... Who can I think of that said no to the corporate world? Any athlete I can I think of? No, I can only think of Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle said, middle finger, to 60 million. Was it 60 or 50 million? Jumped on the plane and headed out to Africa. He needed some simple life. Uh, it probably takes a lot, of, a lot of guts to do that, isn't it? To say no to 60 million because you don't like the deal that you're getting. They're asking you to do things that you're not comfortable with. So do you lose your soul and gain the world? What do you do? Daniel Janicki. I hear what you're saying about Elu, but I tend to disagree. He has cemented his legendary status and deserves the attention. If anything, he should be a global sporting household name. He already is. Now, if you want an example of a mainstream athlete, look no further than... <laughs> no. <sighs> the ridiculous Mobot and Sir Mo Raceburg for starters. No comment. Okay, how many minutes are we into here? 23 minutes. 23 minutes. We'll keep it, try and keep it on to a half an hour. Huh? Try and keep it on a half an hour. Don't want to keep you guys up too late. Past your bedtime, just in case you won't be able to wake up. Let's look at your comments for the video I posted a week or so ago about Kenya Nisa Bikili in the Berlin Marathon. Thanks for all the likes. Three likes, three dislikes. Marathon runner 97, Bikili will hopefully break the world record. Would love to see him go under two hours. Too many people have put this guy under the radar. I haven't given up on this guy because I know what has prevented him from becoming or breaking the world record. Remember, his girlfriend died before he got married when he was at his peak. He took some time off, came back, and he probably smashed one or two records. And then after that, he, he was fighting fighting along the way and then you know injury after injury after injury so you can't judge a man's best based on his injuries you know what I mean Elude has had a clean sheet of injuries proper training for the past 10 years no injuries so give Bikili that same amount of time and let's put them down a straight track somewhere in Arizona, Texas, one of those straight roads. You on the left side, Bikili on the right. Bang. No paces. Let's go. 
He looks skinnier. I think he will do well. Truth and reality. Truth and reality. Thank you for all your comments you're giving, man. Every video I upload, good or bad, you're on it. Thank you. He's only 37 years old. JB, you said he's only 37 years old with a PR of 20303. If he is in great shape and uninjured, we are in store for something really special. Indeed. That guy's running technique. I'm the same height as he is. 156. 166. I'm probably about 15 kgs heavier though. 1520. Let me add on another five. You know what I mean? And big thighs. We got the same size thighs. Probably the same size style of running when I'm lean. But the power he generates off the ground matching the others. So he's, he's not like, um, what was that guy's name? I always forget his name. He was an even shorter guy. Um, Kabidi. Kabidi was shorter than Bikili. And he took many little steps. So he's tucked in. And he was knocking himself out every run. But Bikili lopes. He bounds. And it's beautiful. You know what I mean? His stride is just a little bit shorter than Mo Farah's, who's got a lovely, firmer bone. I love Mo Farah's firmer bone, that loping, long stride. And he leans forward just at the right angle. Nate Silvers. Hey, some of you subscribers have been around with me, putting up with all my nonsense for a while, eh? I don't know if he will, but I will get up to watch him race live, and then when he drops out, <laughs> I go back to bed. You cheeky little bugger. I hope he keeps you up. Let's see. Truth and reality. I get an impression of thuggish arrogance from no more nowadays. Well, that's the corporate world, isn't it? But he needs to put down the PV or the world record if you're going to have thuggish arrogance. You know what I mean? Show us the clock, son. Show us the clock. We, wanna, we want you to announce like what Bikili done. When he came back, just out of nowhere, he just said, I'm back, and I'm looking to run a new PV. When has Mo ever said that? Like, hey, I'm going to run in a race, I'm going for PV. Say it. Train for it, and do it. Attempt it. I'll take my dreads off, as a show of respect. Right, who we got? Who we got, yes, son? Who else we got? Who else we got? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Momo Ben, Magnific La Neja Super. Is that French? Galeros Gareth, my favorite runner of all time. Me too. Me too. But I'll still beat him in the race. Make sure. I64 Stupid. <laughs> That's a nice jam. You predicting 204 23. Where did you get the three seconds from? Like, did you calculate it down to the T? Berlin Marathon going to be very interesting with Kenya Lisa Bikili being part of it. Maud Farid Ahmad. Thanks for that. Uh, right. Carlo. His time in Berlin will be 2.05. Carlo, me and you, we used to be best buddies. I'm only joking. How are you doing, Carlo? I hope you get to watch this. You know what I mean? Christian Barrera, in Spanish for please, who? <laughs> Christian, yeah, I wish I could speak Spanish. Oh, okay, so you can barely hear me. I'm, I'm trying to whisper because I'm not the only one in the house. You know, the others are sleeping. Um, put your headphones on. Turn it up. You'll hear me. Sorry for that. Uh, go Kiwi, go Kiwi down in, let me get this right this time, New Zealand. New Zealand, right? Am I right? Go Kiwi. Yep, Berlin is going to be an awesome race. Looks like you are doing some great training, working out here. It's not about me, my brother. Yes, I will keep the videos coming. Um, nice competition from Maru Goitam. Steve Golfer. A golfer watching athletics. We like that. Great runner. Yep, indeed. Lee Fall. Man, those are some serious inclines you're climbing. Nah. Don't let them get to you. 
They just cut a couple of hills. Tommy, 6,300. 6, Forget about under two hours. You know, I like to go ahead of myself sometimes. I'm, I'm so excited. But just imagine if Bikili did smash two hours. I know, it's not going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. But what about the world record? Do you guys think he's going to smash the world record? Hmm? You've got to have the pacemakers for it, isn't it? I think I think uh, the Ethiopians need to do like what the Kenyans are doing. Come into a race with your own pacemakers. Train with your pacemakers. You know what I mean? So hats off to them for tactically realizing that the race is kind of like Kenyan dominated at the front and then they just drop in behind and get the benefits of the wind. So the, the war between Kenya and Ethiopia then friendly sporting war still goes on and you know some of them still train together um thomas mays you said um i think he will dnf again oh that'd be sad eh i don't think he's coming back for a dnf you know i don't think he he said he was injured and that he was gonna go away to train and then he just went quiet for what, eight months or something like that six whatever and then he came back and he announced that he's going for PB. So he knows from his training that he is on form. And I think if he feels that he's not on form and then he can't keep pace or he feels a little niggle, maybe he would pull out. Thomas Mays goes on to say he was a great runner years ago, but you feel he's overrated. Nah, 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 this guy ain't overrated. Remember he ran the fastest debut in Paris. And then he almost broke the world record. And you call this guy overrated. Maybe when Mo go, goes back to the track, Bikili needs to do some laps with him. By the way, when Mo goes back to the track, it ain't going to be the same people he's running against, isn't it? You've got some new boys, son. Some new boys now. Who have you got? The Kajalkas, the Baregas, huh? They'll be waiting for him, like. How do you guys think he's going to do against the Ingebrigtsens? Which of the Ingebrigtsen boys do you guys like? Who we got? Philip, what's the other, Jakob, what's the other guy's name? Is it Henry? Henry is the oldest, the shortest. Philip and Jakob are the same height. Same body, I think Jakob's hips are slightly wider. But the running technique is different between Jakob and Philip. And this is where Jakob gets the energy efficiency, efficiency from that he banks and then later uses it towards the end of the race. And it's that loping technique that I'm on about. You gotta lean forward. If, you, if you're not leaning forward, if you're not it ain't gonna happen man it ain't gonna happen you're gonna be working too hard and spending too much energy yeah you can still run at the same pace but you're gonna be spending too much energy Mo will not have the same longer longer uh, longativity as Bernard Legat why is that truth and reality did that comment come from you Bernard Legat still going strong eh have you seen the size of those guys calves Bernard Legat have you seen his calves? Lecox likes Jacob. Ding dang dang. Um, all right, Lagat is old. He's almost 50. So, wait, oh, 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 truth and reality. Pause, pause, pause. Me, I'm nearly 50. What you trying to say about me, son? I'll leave him behind. Tell him to come. Bring Bernard here. I'll leave him. I'll show him. But, you know, hats off, he's still running at almost 50 years old. That That's love for the sport. Remember Merlin Otty? Can any of you tell me at what age did Merlin Otty compete her, her last race? And has she finished competing her last race? She used to compete for Jamaica. She now competes for Sweden, married a Swedish guy, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know at what age did Merlin Otty stop competing world class level when should we stop what makes us stop 
there's different factors that makes us stop. It's not just age. I think age plays a little part of it. You can carry that into your old age. I'd love to know what Ben Johnson would have done if uh, if they had let him carry on like the rest of them. You know what I mean? I still feel that reading Ben Johnson's coach's book, Charlie Francis, that Ben Johnson was used as a scapegoat because he wouldn't wear the spikes that the sponsors wanted him to wear. He went for Puma, remember? Adidas wasn't too happy. Okay, mucusless fitness. Last comment, last comment. 35 minutes gone. The good news is that he looks skinny. The bad news, he didn't race before the Berlin Marathon and he announced his participation kind of last minute. So I don't know if he's ready. He's also 37 years old now, which is very old for an elite marathon runner. I wish him the best, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but they make it look easy. I don't know how these guys cross the finishing line. And the chests are not about to explode, and all. <gasps> it's, it's, how do they do that, man? I'd love to know that. It must be a beautiful feeling to be able to run a world record pace, like what Jeffrey Kemmerer ran. And that was like, what, 22 k's an hour, if I'm not mistaken? By the way, I'm going to do a video coming up, me on the treadmill, going at 23 k's an hour. And then uh, mucusless fitness, you can uh, assess my form. If you guys, muscleless fitness. I always say mucusless fitness. I don't know why. Mucusless fitness is uh, comes from when you're on a vegan diet, your body produces less mucus, which clogs up your system even less. Therefore, cleaning up your system so that you can fly. Uh, muscleless fitness. You guys, he makes good running analysis videos and actually from watching his like one minute two minute videos he's taught me stuff i didn't know you know i never thought of looking at a runner's vest and if it's slightly to one side then that means they look to one side i think jeffrey camor does just a little bit of that so that in itself is an injury in the making okay guys uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up. So, who's watching tomorrow morning? I won't be able to watch. I don't know where to watch it. Uh, I think um, I might go on www.watchathletics.com. I got that link from Truth and Reality, but I don't know how to go about MacGyvering to watch it live. Um, so I'll wait. I'm gonna go for a cycle run tomorrow. Cycle ride tomorrow up in the hills. I gotta make most of the hills they to die for. And by the by the time I come back, there'll be a winner and loser. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. <laughs>